Today I'm going to unbox and review the Dovo Laser Receiver Model DR1 that my friends at Dovo had sent me in exchange for making this honest review video. So in other words, I didn't pay for this device. I'll be testing the laser receiver in the far reaches of its functionality to places you never even thought possible. But before that, some of you may be wondering, what the heck is a laser receiver? Welp, if you've ever used a laser level in the bright sunlight, you'll agree that it's almost impossible to see the line unless you have a fortune tied up in your laser. The Dovo laser receiver actually detects that beam and makes it easier to locate. So let's see what's in the box. There's a user manual written in several different languages, which comes in super handy due to, um, current events. There's a detachable mount for using this laser receiver with an elevation stick or a similar apparatus. There's a highly stylish belt pouch custom embroidered with the Dovo logo, and inside said pouch is the Dovo laser receiver itself. There's also two TC Best brand Mignon AA batteries. With a name like Mignon, they've got to be pretty good freaking batteries. I'll include the Dovo Laser Receiver Model DR1 as well as the Dovo Laser Level in my Amazon store. Clicking the Amazon store link helps improve future content with small commissions that I earn from any sale, even if it's nothing that my store stocks. And finally, Mostly Mike will go over the features of the Dovo Laser Receiver Model DR1. Okay, I had to redo this footage because the camera wasn't being very cooperative outside. But anyhow, the Dovo Laser Receiver, a couple features about it. You have a sensor on the front. This is what actually picks up the beam. And you have like a little notch on each side for the center. That's where your beam is actually going to be detected when you get the steady tone. On the top of the laser, you have two neodymium magnets. There's a bubble level. And then on the top left of your screen, there's uh, these two arrows that have like a minus sign. Uh, that's the accuracy of the laser, how close it's actually going to get to the center of that line and that's the most sensitive and you're talking like a sixteenth of an inch versus a thirty-second of an inch there there's not really a notable difference between the two but you can change that by just hitting this button on the right and as you can see the display is backlit but after about thirty seconds it dims to save battery you have the battery life at the bottom and the volume is that little speaker that's in the middle that's normal volume you hit this again it adds those two little sound wave looking things that's like maximum volume and if you hit it again it's silent where it'll just work off of the arrows to turn it back off you just hit the volume or, or the button in the center and you can see it tests all the parts of the screen and shuts back off that's the basic rundown you have these two notches in the back uh, they're like dovetail notches to put this bracket on in case that didn't come out in the other footage, I didn't look at that yet, but that's basically your bracket that you would use to mount it to various apparatus. The DR1 laser receiver is IP54 dust and water resistant. This means that you can work around some dust and splashes of water such as rain, but you cannot take it scuba diving like we all may have hoped that we could. The included mount can be used to attach the Dovo laser receiver to a grating stick, Although I don't own a grating stick, yet, a similar effect can be achieved with an aluminum rule, conduit, a yardstick, or even a stupid stick. The imagination knows no limits, so anything that is stickier in nature should do just fine. This laser receiver is claimed to work with any color of laser level. Okay, I'm gonna shut this laser off. And now I have my old David White. This is like a 2000, I'm going to say 2001, 2002 model. It's a, pretty much a dinosaur nowadays. It puts out this red beam. So you can see, that's not the pulse laser, so this thing, does. it could care less about it. So it will not work with, with these old lasers that don't have a pulser on them. Maybe, the, maybe they made some that do, but that one does not have them. Now turning this other one back on. I'm going to turn the pulse mode off. And it doesn't seem to matter. It pulses regardless. So, with, with these Dovo lasers, it's probably going to work no matter what. 
The usable range of the Dovo laser level is 5 to 50 meters, which explains why it's nearly impossible to get it locked on center, holding it freehand at closer distances than 5 meters. Okay, now I'm going to test this for 15 meters away. We're not even one meter away. Maybe We're maybe just a half meter away right now. And I'm a little bit out of frame. Let me move the camera up just a hair. Okay. So you can see the beam on it. And as I get closer to the center line, I can't even hold it where it belongs. You go broader. It takes both hands for me to hold it, just that my little bit of shake is not letting it. It's really hard to hold that without having some kind of a stick, you know, where you're steady. It seems pretty accurate. I'm roughly 50 feet away over at the shed and I'm gonna, I'm gonna use this detector to find this beam. The lighting's kind of obvious, but you'll see when I get over there, I'll show you. Now the beam's pretty obvious here on the side of the building. I don't know if you can see it in that camera or not. From 50 feet away, there you can see it starting to detect. And see, it's easier for me to hold it on here without shaking when I'm holding against the building. There I'm exactly on the mark, which is exactly on the mark. I'm gonna try going with the fine setting And we're in. Right there is our line, and I can see the line in my shadow. So I'm just gonna put this magnetic level right on the beam so you can see it. Now I'm gonna get the camera in a little bit closer. And see, there is absolutely no trace of the beam until I put my shadow over it. Faster beeping. We got 60 millimeters, and see now we're below the line. Rise up. There's our beam. So to test this laser receiver at the max distance of 50 meters, I'll need to go to a more open area to get the proper effect. My mom's place will be perfect for this. I'll need to calculate my normal walking stride, then do some quick math to see how many steps are in 50 meters. About 40 inches. How many inches are in 50 meters? 50 meters is 1,968.504 inches. What is 1,968.5 divided by 40? 1,968.5 divided by 40 is approximately 49.21. Okay, so about 50 steps. How many meters is 2,000 inches? 2,000 inches is equal to 50.8 meters. And it's working. While 50 meters or 164 feet range might sound like not much to some people, it seems more than adequate for the average homeowner. It seems pretty tight at that range, although I did not test it with any type of measurement. Using my calibrated eye, I would estimate that it's at least within an eighth of an inch or smaller, being that I could not hold it steady on its center line without the assistance of special apparatus. I noticed later on the Amazon listing that it states up to 400 feet, but I couldn't find it in the instruction manual or the box. Let me know in the comments if you'd like me to attempt that test at some point in the future. Also, I'd like to know what the heck you need that kind of range for. Here's what I like and don't like about the Dovo laser receiver, starting with what I like. The Dovo laser receiver model DR1 is very portable, packed with nice features such as the display on the front and back, and seems to be pretty accurate by my standards, which I have recently upped my standards. So up here, the display is large, backlit, easy to read, and the buttons are very user-friendly. The included bracket is nice to have, although it is also what I would consider an essential part for most of your everyday laser receiving needs. 
There is honestly not much that I don't like about the Dovo Laser Receiver Model DR1. Although this is sort of nitpicky, I thought that a rechargeable battery would be nice. Regular batteries are a convenience, but could leak during long-term storage. If you plan on storing this laser receiver, I would definitely consider removing the batteries first. I guess that another thing that could be improved is that the beeper could be a little louder if you're using it outdoors and around equipment. All in all, if laser detection is your thing, I would definitely recommend picking up one of these gems for your laser leveling tool gamut. In my opinion, you'd be hard pressed to find a better laser receiver for the money. I hope you learned something from this video about laser receivers or at least got a few laughs out of it. Please tell me all about your laser reception adventures or fantasies in the comments. I'd love to hear about them. I'd like to thank the kind folks at Dovo for sending me this laser receiver. Please like, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.